welcome to the October edition of A View from Rounds Tower. It's a beautiful fall day here on campus, and we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to give you a tour. We're going to be visiting the Hub, the Silver Center for the Arts, the Welcome Center and Ice Arena, Prospect Dining Hall, Lamson Library and Learning Commons. In each of those venues, we're going to have the individuals that are interacting with the students on a daily basis, helping make their life enjoyable here at PSU. Enjoy your tour. Excited to get to share with you today some of the different activities that take place in the Hub. And I'm going to start with our recreation area, which is one of our most popular areas of the building. Within the recreation area, we are offering a few new programs. Um, we have Stand Up Paddle Fitness, which takes place out on um, the rivers and lakes here in New Hampshire. Within our group exercise program, we are offering salsa dancing classes. We also have QR codes on our fitness equipment that allow students to scan them on their phones and download videos on how to use each individual piece of equipment. In our intramural area, we are now offering broom ball down at the ice arena, and we have also for the past three years been offering indoor soccer. Some of you may remember the Women's Center. We've expanded the role of that center to include a wider variety of our students on campus. We now call it the SAGE Center, which stands for Sexuality, Anti-Violence, Gender, and Equality. The Outdoor Center is an extension of the Hartman Union Building that was developed in 2002. And through the Outdoor Center, we offer a variety of programs in the great outdoors. We have White Mountain Orientation trips that occur one week before the beginning of the school year and allow students to go out and explore through surfing, backpacking, rock climbing, and hiking in the White Mountains. We also give students the opportunity to rent equipment and alumni can also rent that equipment if they would like, so keep that in mind. Lastly, our Community Service Center still offers a lot of programs for students. We've been um, offering alternative spring break programs for years, but over the past several years, we have also been offering international service trips, which have gone to the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and this winter we'll be going to Bolivia. There's always something new and exciting here at the Silver Center. We do um, over 80 different events every year here at the Silver Center and covering with the art department and they're bringing in some visiting artists to do um, artist talks here so we always have something new and exciting going on. The admissions uh, office has their open house here um, for students and their families who are coming to, to check out school. So we're one of the first facilities that the students see when they come on campus and we think that's a great thing because we want to introduce them to this beautiful building um, with all the programs that we have and uh, the fact that many of them are free, um, even the ones that um, have some cost for students, it's, it's uh, hugely discounted so that they can see world-class musicians for very little. But we're also a regional um, arts facility and where most everything is open to the public. Um, on a year-round basis, um, our audience is really comprised of about 50 to 75 percent off-campus people. So, um, you know, we, we kind of consider ourselves the front door to campus. Um, and a lot of community members and, and people who live in the region, um, this may be the only um, real contact that they have with the, with the school. So we want to make sure it's a, it's a positive one and a welcoming one. And um, we think we're able to do that. Uh, a lot, lot of things going on at the Welcome Center and uh, upstairs as well. We've had lots of banquets, we have lots of PSU activity, both for Plymouth State and for the community as well. At the Ice Arena Welcome Center, I uh, just received another award, the Lean in Green Award from the uh, New Hampshire Business Magazine. Very proud of the fact that we are geothermal. We saved about 30% on our, our utility bill. Uh, the geothermal well is in under the parking lot, so there's no real space taken up by that. And uh, it's quite a nice system that heats the building as well as cools the ice. So we try to do uh, everything that we can uh, to encourage alumni to come just to see the place or to come skating as well or in some cases bring their kids or grandkids, you know, just to have a good time. Thank you for coming through and let me tell you a little bit about the place. Um, we've got all the stations that we've always had. 
pizzas made to order, the taco station, the salad bar, the hot entrees, but there's several new aspects to the dining hall that weren't around years ago. We've got a new stir fry station uh, where you can pick your vegetables, get stuff made to order. Uh, we've got a grill station and lunch that's oftentimes steak and cheese or grilled sandwich, sandwiches, Italian sausage, grilled chicken breasts, and then at dinner time they turn over to nice grilled entrees, salmon steaks, and those types of things. So it's really great. The pasta station has been upgraded. We now do individually baked pasta casserettes, and you can get those with Alfredo sauce, marinara, pesto, whatever you'd like. In addition to that, we've got a full vegetarian station for anybody that's vegetarian now. We're also doing gluten-free and vegan diets. So everything's available. All the standards we used to have, the burgers, the fries, the tacos, the pizza, plus all these new things make the program very exciting. And if you happen to miss any of those meals, you can't get into Prospect for them. We have a couple of new coffee shops on campus that offer meal exchanges, as well as the Union Grill across the street. So it's a great dining experience here at Plymouth. The best value about Prospect is the fact that it's all you can eat. You can try new items. We have a global chef here next month from Peru. There's all kinds of great things that the students can try that they might never have had before. I'm really excited to uh, be here today and talk about what's new and exciting here in the Commons. The most important thing about the, the Learning Commons is that it's one-stop service. You come inside the doors, you go right to the help desk. If you, if you need help with some tutoring, they'll direct you downstairs to the pass office. If you, have some, uh, if you need some assistance with a paper that you're writing for a certain course, they'll direct you down to the writing center. If you need more help with your research, we have our reference, very qualified reference librarians, you know, available for, for assistance there. We have uh, computer help at the uh, help desk as well, as, and online ed, classroom technology, uh, a variety of services that are available. You don't have to look too far. You step 10 feet inside the door and ask your question. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your tour, and I hope it enticed you to come back and visit your alma mater and see exactly what's happening on campus. Stay tuned for the next edition of A View from Rounds Tower, and in the meantime, Keep up with us on Facebook.